Joining us now is Kevin and Kit Cummings, parents of Evan, who is in formation for the priesthood with the Paulists, and they are here to talk about a website that offers advice for families and men in formation. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Uh, maybe if you could start off uh, from the beginning. When, when did this all take place? What was the idea and the impetus behind uh, setting up this website? Well, it started when Evan told Kit that uh, he was uh, discerning a vocation. And we had questions, so we started searching the web for answers, and there weren't any. <laughs> what we found is, yay, pray for them. We found a lot of stuff for people who were trying to encourage vocations. Sure. If it kind of came up in your life, there wasn't much help. So we decided the best thing to do was to start processing it by writing about it ourselves. So parents have just heard the news, like y yourselves, uh, that uh, their son is thinking about a vocation. Uh, how can parents utilize this website? They'll, they'll go to the website with all these questions, and what's the best way to sort of approach it? Well, I think the first thing is we just had a lot of questions about the process. Um, okay. You know, your child sort of gets swept up in the process and you're not sure. You start hearing terms like, you know, spiritual director and vocations director and, and so on. And so we just started answering those kinds of process questions. And so we have a, a page that has some of the most common questions. The number one question we get is who pays for seminary? <laughs> who does? Depends on the order, Act. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He answer all of those. From a family perspective, we also talk about changes in the family dynamic that takes mm -hmm. place because of this different vocation. It's not in Utah especially yeah. common. There, we know of no other family in Utah who are parents of seminarians. Wow. wow. Yeah, and maybe if you could take us back to that moment um, when Evan came to you, uh, is this something that you, you saw or was this a, a big surprise? Kind of both. Um, okay. He came home his sophomore year of college. He was a, elect no, a mechanical engineer major, doing very well. And he's always been kind of targeting that type of vocation. Mm. And Thanksgiving, he says, uh, Mom, what would you think if I changed my major? And blue, I said, have you thought about being a priest? And he about fell over and said, funny you should ask. Wow. <laughs> In, in conversation with the Paulist um, Vocation Center. Great. Yeah, and, and maybe if you could talk about that too, the, the, the support for uh, men who are, are, are thinking about it or, you know, have some thoughts about it and, and uh, maybe what people can do or families can do to help support that discernment process. Sure. Well, a couple of things I'd say. First of all, we were really impressed with the availability of the support. And so uh, if your child's discerning, have them talk to a vocations director and, and talk to the vocations director yourself. They're not recruiters. I think there's a fear that if I talk to a vocations director, they're going to try to talk me into it, you know, sort of the, the, the image of the old army recruiter. Yeah, and yeah. that's not the way of it at all. They're there to help with the discernment process. And they're very helpful to the families as well. They're going to answer questions, they're going to support your child, uh, and they're going to support you uh, a little bit and give you some information. So if you have questions, don't be afraid to talk to them. Don't be afraid to ask that. And the other thing I'd say is, is when you have that conversation with your child, remember that you're, you're not just having that conversation, but you're really kind of setting the tone for the rest of your relationship. So, you know, if you're if you're dismissive, even if you have concerns, if you just say, well, that's, that's, that's dumb, why would you do a thing like that? You've really kind of cast a shadow on your relationship with your child, and, and you want to maintain that openness with them. There's an alarming statistic that 50% of all men who are priests say their family tried to talk them out of it. Oh, wow. That's wow. who actually went forward with it. How many men approach their family with this and are told no and follow that advice rather than looking into it? They say, look into it, and if it doesn't work, that's great. Go on with your life in another direction, but don't wait and wait and wait, and then think about discernment late in life. Yeah, and maybe we, we just have about a minute left, but maybe if you could talk, too, about you, you mentioned some of the question and answer sections in the website, too, but I know there's a, there's a reaction from parents. There's a blog uh, links as well, and maybe if you could tell us a little bit more about what else is on the website. 
Well, we try to throw up fresh content two or three times a month. We do have a mom of a uh, diocesan seminarian in Pennsylvania who also writes. And we've heard from parents all over the world uh, who, you know, share their stories with us. And when we have permission, we put that up. And if somebody's got a question, uh, if they'll email us through the website, we will be happy to answer it. And if we don't know the answer, we'll be happy to research it and get back to them. So. We really want it to be as much of a dialogue as, as it can be because there was just nothing out there to support parents and, and we'd like to help fill that. Sure. We're also looking for other parents who might want to join us and blog with us. Um, you know, if you're going through it with us, join the community. Great. Well, they, this is a great resource, uh, Kit and Kevin, and uh, we appreciate you doing that. Uh, how, now, where's uh, Evan along his journey in formation now? He's in the fourth year fourth right year, now. Great year formation he's just finishing his pastoral year and then he will return to getting to completing his master's degree Excellent. so and it'll be two years and he will be in line for ordination unless he discerns out i mean there it's yep. always open door yep yep well we send our blessings to him and, and prayers to him as well as as well to you and to all the parents of uh, men discerning vocations thank you so much kit and kevin for being with us on this is the day